In this bulletin, staples sold for billions, printer shipments stabilise, and the world's largest 3D printer are among the top printing consumable stories this week. Hello, I'm David Gibbons, and thanks, Cecile, for filling in for me last week whilst I was in Mexico. So, what's been happening in imaging news this week? Staples, the US office supplies superstore, has been acquired for $6.9 billion, with a B, US dollars. Considered to be the largest buyout this year, the acquisition by Sycamore Partners is expected to be completed by December 2017. Meanwhile, the largest staple store in Plymouth, UK, is to be renamed Office Outlet as part of the brand's exit strategy in the UK. And around 70 stores are preparing to close in the USA as the retailer re-energises itself against the growth of online stationery sales. Printer shipments to Europe, the Middle East and Africa have stabilised. According to research analyst group Context, the number of printers being shipped into EMEA countries actually increased 1% in the first quarter of this year. This is a huge turnaround from the 8% decline at the same time last year. Aftermarket ink cartridges are now legal in the Netherlands. The Court of the Appeal at The Hague has ruled in favour of digital revolution in a case brought against them by HP. The court found HP patents claims to be invalid. The case is not expected to end there, however, and the matter could now go before the Dutch Supreme Court. In another legal suit, the International Trade Commission in the United States has issued a seizure and forfeiture order on Inksac Corp. The Washington-based company allegedly violated a general exclusion order, or GEO, relating to Epson's inkjet technologies. And in brief, Konica Minolta has appointed Charles Lissenberg as its new general manager of its professional print division in Europe. The US Postal Service is going to commemorate the solar eclipse with inks on its stamps that change colour when touched by your thumb. And 1,578 buyers and sellers from 23 countries got together in Cancun for the RT Imaging Expo and Summit with 86 exhibits on display. In this week's wrap-up comes news that GE will make the world's largest 3D laser printer called the Atlas. According to PC Magazine, the groundbreaking printer is designed to make objects up to one metre long, including parts for aeroplanes. And for all the details of these stories and other breaking news every day, go to our website at rtmworld.com or get a copy of our monthly News and Views magazine with patent attorney Ed O'Connor on the front cover. Thanks for keeping in touch with This Week Today. I'm David Gibbons.